Hey Instagram, YouTube, hey Facebook. All right, day eight, healthy habits challenge. Today's topic is green up your laundry. So this is a little bit of a, a gear shift as to what we've been talking about, but I'm gonna come back to like self-care and self-love and those types of things um, later on. We've got 30 days together, so we're on day eight. A lot of awesome stuff happening, a lot of awesome stuff to share. So I was just doing laundry and I thought I'd tell you about this little bit here because, well, a couple things. I've got a super fun DIY green cleaning workshop happening this Saturday in Fernie. So this kind of came at the perfect time. And this is something I feel like super passionate about because the studies, like I did the topic in Facebook, um, the average home is five to eight times more toxic than the outside world. So that's super crazy considering we are in control of what we bring into our home. So that is like, I think that's even scarier, right? Because we are making those active choices to bring this toxic crap into our house and like jeopardize our health on like a, a level that we can't even fully wrap our heads around, right? So yeah, it's scary. <laughs> okay, hi. Okay, so let's start in the laundry room today. So did you know that dryer sheets are the number one most toxic cleaning product found in homes today? Like seriously, what are they even? Like they're like heavily fragrant, extremely toxic, like this weird sheet that's like just, it's it's horrible. So dryer sheets, it's, they're so bad. So I am, like I said, I'm super passionate about this stuff because those fragrances are known carcinogens, meaning that they're like cancer causing and extremely, extremely toxic. So studies show that um, they can and quite possibly are altering hormones, disrupting the endocrine system and even more scary stuff. Like as a mom, I don't want any part of any of that stuff for myself or my babies. So here's our daily health habits for today. The first challenge is go now. <laughs> if you have dryer sheets, go now and get them and get rid of them. Like seriously, if you're kind of like, if you're reasoning as to why you're buying like cheap laundry detergent and cheap laundry, what are those, those, those like sheets, they're, they're not even cheap, but they're like completely unnecessary. Okay. So don't, don't ever buy those again. <laughs> This is what you're gonna buy instead. Today, you're gonna find either a local crafter, I got these from Kimberly, um, from a, a lady that has a company called, um, uh, That's a Bag, I think it's called. I, it'll come back to me, but, um, what a bag, that's it, what a bag. She makes all types of reusable bags. She's in Kimberly, it's awesome. She's, you can like just see this, she's made it out of wool. So if you are a crafter, you can just get a bunch of um, like 100% wool and wrap it all together and then what you do is just wash it in super hot water a couple or a few times and it like crafts it and molds itself together. Oh hey Lindsay, my fellow DIYer. <laughs> so today we're talking about green up your laundry. I'm gonna give you some awesome DIY recipes um, and now we're just talking about getting toxic dryer sheets out of your house. I know you don't have them but some people do. So the next one, this is another dryer ball option. It's like you know, it's not, it's clearly not um, string, but this is awesome too. And the beauty with these things, it, there's so many benefits. So number one, they bang around in the dryer. Some people like to put them in halfway and then put them in just for the end. Um, they actually speed up the drying time. So they're saving you money with your, I want the green ones, yeah, a girl in Kimberly made them. Um, yeah, so there's, it's saving you money, it's drying your clothes better, and it also like fluffs up your clothes really awesome. Another um, super awesome benefit is you can actually scent them. So you can put your essential oils on them. I love to use Purify right now. Purify is like a um, cleansing, kind of like purifying blend. It kind of smells like, you know, lemongrass, kind of a little bit like citrus, citronella-ish, but it's really effective at um, like, breaking through old smells or like stuff like that. So this is like your, or like mildewy stuff. So purified, it's awesome. Okay, um, I'm just looking at my notes so I can get back on track. I have a little piece of using essential oils with your dryer balls. So just remember our focus here is to reduce our toxic load. So I want you to really do your research on your oils. Replacing toxic things like dryer sheets um, with fragrance oils is not the solution, okay? Because you're literally just banging your head against the wall. 
my oils, doTERRA oils, have only side benefits, you guys. So if you if you don't know much about the essential oil world, please educate yourself. We have lots of free education online, myself included, um, and just get in the, get in the thick of it to really understand how unregulated the essential oil company uh, world is, because a lot of the oils out there are fragrance. Okay, so. My oils have only side benefits and they're supporting my limbic system, my hormones, my endocrine, and pretty much every other body system there is. So I encourage you to do your research. And when you're using your oils on your dryer balls, you with doTERRA I only use like three or four drops in, in, my, in my dryer. I did say that um, we put our dryer balls in like half, you're kind of like ideally put them in halfway. I have like six dryer balls in there and they go in right at the beginning. So because who got time for like watching the time and figuring out when it's halfway? I don't. So I just throw them all in and they're just banging around in there, having a good time, drying my laundry super fast and it smells amazing. So, okay, now that's dryer balls, that's your dryer taken care of. Get rid of those toxic dryer sheets like yesterday. Let's back up a bit and talk about laundry soap or fleecy, like I can't believe, oh sorry, like if you buy fleecy, don't, like don't. You're just throwing your money, like serious, it's bad. So fleecy is a fabric softener. It's like, again, heavily laden with those chemicals, known carcinogens, like it's not a good time. So two options, well one option when uh, for a natural fabric softener is vinegar, you guys. And no, your clothes do not smell like vinegar. Just put maybe half a cup or, I usually do about half a cup into the fabric softener place in your machine. And yes, front loader, side loader, whatever type of washer you have, put your, like get rid of the excuses as to why you keep buying this, this gross stuff and just start fresh. Okay, start with your vinegar. You can add your vinegar and a drop of your doTERRA lemon or a citrus for extra like cleaning, extra like dirt power, uh, grime fighting, cause the lemon is like your degreaser and things like that. So um, yeah, that's your fabric softener. For uh, soap, we've got so many awesome options, but I have the best liquid DIY laundry soap recipe ever. I'll post it tonight on social media, um, on my business page, Bergamon Balance. But if you're a DIYer, this is like the best thing ever, especially if you have a child or yourself who is struggling big time with skin stuff. So like this, um, this, yeah, this laundry soap might just change your life. So it's super simple. You probably already have the ingredients in your home. Um, and again, it's that benefit of like, you can choose what you want it to smell like. I love, again, the purified because it's just like, gets rid of any sort of, like smell or things like that on there. Lemongrass, if you want lavender soap, you can do lavender, whatever your little heart desires. So it's it's really awesome in that way. Um, if you're not a DIYer, you can also do, I just brought it over because I was just doing laundry. The On Guard uh, liquid laundry soap is freaking awesome too. Okay, so if you have, and this is non-toxic, doTERRA makes a lot of cleaning, or a lot of products, not a lot of cleaning products. Um, I'm gonna show you. A secret in a second but a lot of products like lotions you know spa stuff soaps and whatever and they're all super duper clean so if you are questioning anything in your home and want to know like the um the toxicity level on your product you can go to environmental working group is it ewg um on like Google it and you can literally type in your product and the toxicity level will come up. Okay, this is a third party like platform that um, is phenomenal and really eye opening as to like you think you're making these awesome like um, wise healthy choices but even things like I was looking up like a vino baby stuff and like Burt's Bees and I was really surprised that they actually scaled as a nine on the toxicity level out of 10. doTERRA's products, none of them go higher than a three. Okay, so that's just a little bit of a comparison. Um, it's pretty good knowing that you know what's in your products and you can actually read the ingredients and understand most, if not all of the words, okay. Okay, so this is awesome if you're not a DIYer. Like, this is like 64 loads, six times ultra concentrated. So this little thing, don't be like, you know, uh, put off by its size. That thing lasts as much as like, okay, so this, 
is like an example. This I borrowed from or got from a friend. I this is my DIY one, so I just refill it as you can see. Um, but this only has 50 loads and it's super, super like it's a bit bigger. Okay, so this is my DIY one that I just keep refilling and it's awesome. I just shake it out before I use it and put it in. I just cleaned it really good after I got this empty bottle and yeah, it's all good. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about stains and I'm going to jump off. This, you guys, is my secret. <laughs> okay, this is my secret, not so secret, secret. Um, on guard cleaner concentrate. This is going to change your cleaning regime and literally your life like for real. This can make 11 different spray bottles. So like big size, you only need 30 mils. So two tablespoons of concentrate per liter of water. Um, this I use like full strength for any stains. I don't have to worry about it bleaching your clothes or anything like that. You can leave it on there and forget about it for a week and then throw it in the wash and it'll be fine. Um, but this is like, I clean my house top to bottom with this stuff. Okay mop my floors like you you can use as dish soap if you want to if done like hand washing when we're camping dish soap it's like your everything thing so i want you to like just consider how how easy it is to just like completely rehaul your cleaning regime and all your cleaners that are underneath your sink and then replace it with one thing like it's seriously underneath my sink i have this <laughs> this and vinegar vinegar is super necessary oh and baking soda Okay, so that's basically green cleaning in the laundry room in a nutshell. If you have any comments, any tips, anything you love to use in your laundry room, leave a comment because we'd love to hear. Um, yeah, I just like your challenge is to just reconsider your laundry room and get on buying some dryer bolts because they're fantastic. They're amazing. Um, but bottom line is do, do not make compromises, like get rid of the, the lingering, like limiting belief that laundry stuff has to be expensive and you're just buying the cheap stuff cause it's from Costco and it's super cheap. Our health is our only wealth. Do not make compromises when it comes to your health and like look this stuff up on your own. If you don't want to take my word for it, these are choices that you need to make today. For your family's future like and it's not even i don't want to like kind of try to scare you but i want to make you realize or like try to see like how important it is to get the toxic stuff out of your house it's it's not necessary anymore there's so many other green things that are actually green that don't cost you an arm and a leg this costs like 15 dollars, and i can make 11 spray bottles okay so that's like just over a dollar for a cleaner that is all purpose i use my entire house so okay See you tomorrow for another daily health habit. Thank you guys for watching and please share if you're loving this and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.